What's up guys, it's Kevin here. I'm here to talk about my top five essentials. Not necessarily my EDCs, but something that I always use on like almost a daily basis, maybe even multiple times a day. And I just wanted to share with you guys and talk about what I personally use for these top five categories. So number one, this is sort of basic, but I absolutely love a good t-shirt. So like living in California, it gets hot and it just gets like super, super fucking like, Oh man, like California is hot, it's spicy, it's too spicy. So the weather in California usually ranges between 70 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to like 100 during summer. Um, so it's just, it gets crazy and I just need a good quality t-shirt. So some teams that I recently started using is Muji. Muji has this three pack um, tee with like white, gray, and black and I just bought those guys. They're really cheap. Um, I, I can link all of the stuff that I'm talking about in the description down below, so make sure to check them out. But Muji, they're just basically, it's just a brand without branding. Even the t-shirts, they don't say Muji anywhere. Same with a lot of their, um, their accessories. They don't really have branding per se. It's just good quality clothing for cheap. So those basically have been my go-tos. I also have a John Elliott tee. It's a co-mix tee that I've had for about a year now, maybe even more than a year, and it's just lasting me perfectly. It's a bit more of an extended, um, extended length. So it's a bit more for like a fashion forward look or something that's a little bit more edgy, as weird as that fucking sounds. And I also have my Rain Champs tee, which is just an extremely comfortable t-shirt. I've had it for about the same time that I've had the John Elliott tee, and it's just, honestly, it's my, it's my like pajama shirt almost, but like I can still go out with it. Something that I've recently picked up that I have been loving a lot are cropped black bottoms. So I have a few crop black bottoms. I have one coming in as well, but here are my top three favorites that I've had. I have the Acne Studios crop bottoms. I picked this up from Grailed. It's just cropped to like, I think a 28 um, inseam. It, it's like slightly tapered, but it's like not too skinny towards the bottom. I just like it because it's just like, it's a basic crop bottom. I can cuff it or I can just leave it like that. I might even get it shortened a little bit more because maybe I'll have it shortened maybe another inch or something like that, but I really, really do like the quality, especially for the Acne Stay colors. Like, their um, they're stay, they're stays, I guess, um, the dye just really sticks on and after multiple washes, it's still like amazing. The black is still super black um, and I can always just re-dye it if I do need to. Almost every time that I have cargo bottoms, at least for my fits on Insta, uh, they are just Nike sportswear bottoms that I got them cropped and tailored. Uh, they were, they were what, like 40 to 60 bucks on the Nike outlet. I got them cropped and tapered for about like 20 bucks and it has honestly quickly become my most worn bottoms because I just love it. It's just like, it's it, it's a skinny fit, but it's not too skinny to where it's like skin tight and it's super comfortable to put it on. So I definitely suggest you guys look at your Nike outlets. Just pick up a pair of um, cargo bottoms from there. Just get it tapered. Everything just is amazing. Number three are sneakers. So there are a few sneakers that I absolutely cannot live without. Um, here's just a few examples of the ones that I basically wear every single day. I think you guys should definitely check out the Style 36 model. It is such an underlooked model. It's a much slimmer, it's a much sleeker old school. I find old school is kind of chunky and I'm just not down for it. It just reminds me of like some skater boy, some edgy boy who's just really trying so hard. A Style 36 is just very clean, very cut and I just love it. I have it in a vintage blue. I believe it is an Asian exclusive or an Asia exclusive. They also have it in a um, racing red, I believe, as well, and a green if you're in the Philippines or in that market. I also religiously wear my authentic LXs. I have them in the asphalt, um, the dress blue, and I have them also in the chili pepper red. So those three guys are just like my my go-to sneakers. I've had a bunch of chilies. I sold a few of them off. I just have one pair left. Dress blues, extremely, extremely nice navy blue. And the asphalts are essentially my beater pair. And it's just, it's this dark gray with like a suede back tab. I just love it. It's just, this is definitely like one of my go-to sneakers every single day. Another shoe that is completely different from the Vans is the acronym VaporMax Mach 2. So I got this pair from the acronym event that they held in Maxfield, LA, where I actually got to meet Errolson. It was a lot of fun. He signed my box 
and after getting through and like breaking them in they are extremely comfortable they are definitely a loud sneaker so you gotta you gotta be kind of careful with both the pattern and the colors that you wear so i usually go for like an all black very incognito look while having the shoes be the highlight piece that's how i've seen them look really nice i've seen them look pretty nice with olive cargo bottoms as well um, i definitely think you have to be a bit more tech wear-esque um, or at least something a bit more sleek for you to pull these guys off but I do love them. I also recently picked up the Yeezy 500 blush. Initially, I wasn't really feeling the 500, but after putting them on foot, they are quickly becoming one of my most worn sneakers. I just love the chunky silhouette, and it actually is not that bad in comfort. Um, trying to compare to Boost or React. React, definitely a gym shoe, but the, um, the Addy Prem is just extremely, extremely comfortable. I think it's more comfortable than the Oswego line. But, and they both use Addy Cream, but I think just like, it's it's that whole chunky look and almost spaceship look. And the color of blush just is super, super underused. It's like, it's not like an off-white, but it's not like a super moon, which they are also releasing. It's just like, it's weird in between and I just love it. And another sneaker that I think you guys should check out is the Golf Le Fleurs by Tyler and um, Converse. I recently ordered the um, the cream with the blue pair and I also have the baby blue pair that I got off of Grail. You guys should definitely check them out on Grail. Like prices are like really not that bad for like a hundred dollar sneaker. I got my baby blue ones for under 80 bucks shipped to me with the box and all the accessories. So you guys should definitely check them out if you are looking for a summer shoe because a lot of the colors are very vibrant, very loud and I think it works perfectly with a pair of shorts. Um, higher socks and like that's like the perfect beach fit. So I have a few accessories that I do want to talk about. I have a Margiela necklace that my girlfriend Caroline got for me. I love it so much. Honestly, it's it's a very unique and it's very true to Margiela because Margiela is essentially just like repurposing old items. And I cannot tell you guys how many times I've got a question like, what is that key for? Is that the key to key to your heart or key to Caroline's heart? And I'm just like. I also have a ring from Caroline. Um, this is just something that she got for me. And honestly, like this is my thing is like, I think every accessory that you have should have some sort of sentimental value at least. Cause I've seen a lot of people with just like decked out rings that like, I'm just like, yo, you just bought those rings from H&M man. you gotta have like, you know, a deeper, deeper connection to it. Like whether or not it be a gift, or like whether or not like it had to do with like a special event or just something just like kind of like a landmark yeah but like enough of me preaching and shit like that um i also love my gucci card holder so essentially my gucci card holder is something that i do carry around every single day because i need my id to get into my apartment and i also need my id in order to like take exams and stuff like that and also pay for my food on campus so i love 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 my Gucci card holder, especially towards the ID sign because I can just easily slick out my ID just using my thumb. And the Blooms is just such an iconic, like I really liked the Blooms, like the collection that they did. I believe they had a green one, which is the one that I have, a blue one, and I bought Caroline the pink one. Um, I just thought it'd be cute because we're like a couple and shit. So the Blooms is just like, it. It's like a flip on almost the the monochromatic, it, or not the monochromatic, but the monogram, the Gucci monogram, which is kind of associated with wealth. And I associate it at least to older individuals, but I think the bloom just like kind of gives it like a spark of like, wow, that's just pretty cool, you know? It's just kind of like, wow, that's a remix. That's a, it's a. <laughs> Number five is good stationery. As nerdy as this sounds, I write on paper. I do everything in pen and pencil. I rarely, um, or at least I try to avoid using the computer for studying because I find that me actually writing down certain molecules, certain equations and stuff like that, it helps it, I guess, solidify in my mind. So like one of the brands I extremely like, I already mentioned them, earlier in this video is Muji. Muji has amazing, amazing, amazing notebooks and pens for super, super cheap. I've also been using this Roting 500, I believe. It's it's a very heavy duty pencil. I've used it for over, over a year and a half now, maybe two years. You can find it on Amazon and it definitely is well worth the money. It is not over like 
30 bucks. I've seen some people spend like 50 to like 100 bucks on like pens and then like don't even get me started on like the Mont Blanc pen. Like that shit's like... And a good alternative to at least the Muji notebooks is the Campus Notebooks by Cole Kuro. I don't really know how to pronounce the brand, but it's this colorful one. I've used them for years prior before I started hopping on that Muji wave. Um, I definitely think their brand themselves, the paper is extremely nice. I just like the paper where it doesn't like bleed in like crazy because I use pens a lot and the pencils I have a very very fucking strong grip on my pencils so that was my top five essentials I also have an honorable mention I think every man should have at least some sort of fragrance Club de Nuit Intense Man I recently purchased this on Amazon I heard a lot of good things about it a while ago and it does smell a lot like Aventus, so it is a good alternative, but it doesn't have as long of, I guess, longevity and the sillage of it. So this just, you you guys can look up like Fragrantica or Fragrantica. You guys can look up the notes and stuff like that. Super cheap. I ran out of my Chanel Sport or Extreme. Uh, that used to be my daily. I also ran out of Bleu de Chanel. That used to be my daily as well. I still have Yves Saint Laurent's um, La Nuit de L'Homme, but I do suggest you guys try to find a formulation prior to 2014 because that's when they really started to water it down. The earlier the better, always. And I also have Givenchy's Pie, their super super old formulation that I only use for like colder nights and like super special nights because that shit is super hard to come by nowadays. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been um, my top 5 essentials essentially plus some honorable mentions. Definitely, definitely check out Club de Nuit. My only drawback is this fucking bedazzled like thing, but it's like, it's actually really heavy. Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. Comment down below if you guys have any other essentials or any questions about the essentials I talked about. If you guys have any essentials that I missed. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. I'll see you guys in the comments. Peace out.